It's still early in the flu season, but the CDC is warning that this season could be another nasty one. Morning reporter Wanye Reese is at Coliseum Medical Center in Macon. He joins us live now. Good morning, Wanye. Well, good Wednesday morning, Caitlin. That's right. We all know that last flu season here in central Georgia, it was a really nasty one. That's why the CDC is recommending you get your flu shot now before the virus starts to spread. Ridiculous. That's how Michael Dykes, Coliseum Hospital's ER director, describes the last flu season. He says things got so bad they had to treat some patients in the hallway. There were certainly thousands of, of, of positive flu just here in uh, between the two facilities, Coliseum and the Coliseum Northside. The CDC says last year more than 700,000 people nationwide went to the hospital with flu symptoms. That's one reason the state health department is urging Central Georgians to get a flu shot. Our 13 county health departments within our district are ready to start vaccinating people against the flu. And of course, we want people that that are being vaccinated to vaccinate early. It takes During the last flu season, Michael Hokinson says Georgia had thousands of cases reported with more than 150 people dying across the state. But besides a flu shot, here are ways you can lower your chances of getting sick. Wash your hands after handling anything of theirs. Um, just make sure that you're not touching your nose, your eyes, your mouth after uh, interacting with somebody who's sick. The CDC says flu season typically ramps up between December and February. But if you're feeling sick before then, Dykes has this simple tip. And if, you, if you're feeling Sorry. ill and under the weather, make sure you just stay at home and not try to go out and into the public grocery stores and things like that. Now, your local health department does have these flu shots, Hokinson says, and most insurance types do cover them for free. And Caitlin, your local health department, it's only $25 for a flu shot and $55. That's the high dosage. They recommend that for folks who are 65 and older. Live in Macon, Wanye Reese, 13 W Amazing News. Thank you for those tips, Wanye. Now, this year, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends all kids get the flu shot instead of the nasal spray. They say the spray is not as effective against certain strains of the flu.